Okay, talk to me. How do you feel? So this is gonna be an intense training for us. Yeah. Jose is gonna show us how it's done. All so right. behold, people. Behold. <laughs> Are you excited right now? I'm so excited. <laughs> We're Lejo and Andrea, and after living on a sailboat for 18 months, we've learned to become pretty self-sufficient. But we still need to learn to catch our own food. <laughs> so we decided to sail to the uninhabited ragged islands with a real spear fisherman. What's up guys? So we are leaving Lee Stocking Island. It's a perfect day. Well, we have no wind, but we're just gonna motor to Georgetown, which is like four hours away. We're trolling. We have the fishing gear out. Look at that water. Perfect water. Flat seas. We have What's the up? first mate. First mate, possibly soon to be captain because I'm getting better by the day. Oh, she... I'm learning more yes. each day. She's getting better. I can focus on fishing and Andrea can drive the boat and we're gonna meet up with other boat friends yes. with La Gracia. La Gracia. They're friends from Chile, which we met in Dotoville, Virginia. And yeah, and we're gonna head to the Ragged. Captain, did you just catch something? Just like a fish. Let's go, baby! My biceps! <laughs> Does it hurt? This thing is the best. You don't even have to touch the fish. So guys, we made it to Georgetown and we are about to provision a little bit before we head to the ragged. We made it! We made it! And we're gonna go say hi to our friends from La Gracia! Hola Tomas! Hola Lucas! Hola Tomas! Hi Marine! Hi bro! Hey guys! Carly was her Carly. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy Carly. birthday! Happy birthday Carly! We're celebrating your birthday, our <laughs> encounter! Okay. Exuma Island because that is where we have to wait to cross a channel that is very very shallow it is very very narrow and so we have to wait for slack tide high tide or at least for the tide to rise because we are four and a half there's no wind today so we're gonna have to motor the entire day today and that is gonna be about uh, it's 15 nautical miles so it should be about three hours sail all the way down to the island and then tomorrow we're gonna be crossing to the ragged islands and we're super excited because the ragged is completely isolated from everything nobody gets there very few people actually go there because there is not even a fuel station there is no coast guard there is nothing there so very few people actually go there you have to be fully self-sustainable and self-reliable in order to get to a remote island like the raggeds and so that's where we're gonna be We're going with our neighbor, Jose. He's like a pro at spear fishing, and he's gonna teach us. He's not showing how excited he was. He was just yelling a few seconds ago like, yes, there's lobster, and there's groupers, and there's... <laughs> okay, talk to me, how do you feel? So this is gonna be an intense training for us. Yeah? Jose is gonna show us how it's done. All so right. behold, behold. <laughs> Are you excited right now? I'm so excited. <laughs> following Jose we will introduce you to Magdan Jose so you guys meet them because we will be spending the next few 
weeks with them. Maybe one or two weeks. Who knows? Okay, so this is our spear fishing teacher, <laughs> Jose. <laughs> and this is Magda. Hi, Jose, hi. how long have you been spear fishing for? I like five years, six years. Yeah, maybe. Is that your passion? Do you love it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You love it? <laughs> he can spend he can be in the water all day. So how do you find the spots of where you're going? I use Google Earth. He tries to spot from up if there are some rocks underwater or reefs or something and then we try to go as quiet as we can and check it and if we are lucky we find something. Leaving Babylon, leaving Babylon, sister, leaving Babylon, leaving Babylon. Good morning all and we are heading to the Raggeds. We are crossing the channel? Yes. What are we doing? The Devil's Cut. We crossed this last year and it's pretty nerve right because it's well it's supposed to be really shallow and there's rocks. Plus it's very narrow. Right now we're we're like one hour past lactide and we have one out of pair. Well here like in the middle of the channel it's pretty deep, like like nine feet. So we don't have much wind, but uh, we have seven knots, so we will be raising our parasailer because we really need to stop using our engines. It's really bad. We're being consuming a lot of diesel because the last marina where we could actually dock our boat to fill our diesel tanks was in Staniel Key. From here all the way to the Dominican Republic, we have to fill those dairy cans, so we cannot do that. <laughs> like every time just going and filling the dairy cans. So, we have to do it ourselves. So we're going to raise our parasailer. Okay, so we just put parasailer with the spinnaker line. We're verifying that the lines are good, that everything looks good. This is not a spinnaker, this is a parasailer. 
It looks like a spinnaker, but it is not a spinnaker. Uh, baby, can you tell me what is the difference between a spinnaker and a parasailer? Uh, the parasailer has the hole in the middle, so it can release pressure and you can use it up to like 25 knots, 20 knots. We used it like up to 20 and it's great. It's pretty good. So we are going to fly the drone. Well, it's always nerve wracking when we're going to fly the drone because it can always go wrong and go swimming. You can see we're going with our buddy boat, La Gracia, and you can see them right there. And we're about to fly the drone. and Magda and Lucas. All right, so we're both going in the water. Today is day two of classes of spear fishing with Jose. <laughs> yes. And we're in pretty choppy waters. Choppy waters with pretty deep oceans. Jose already caught a giant mutant snapper. We just arrived, but you can probably see it from there. Are you nervous? Yes, very nervous. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm too. Bye. Right. Here we go. Five feet, and my resistance underwater sucks. So, so I get down there, I try to stay, and I'm like, oh, I need air, and then I go up. What's up, guys? So we just got back from beer fishing, and yeah, it was pretty exciting. And I caught her first big fish, and we broke. Well, it, like the fish went inside the rock, it broke the spear pole, and it was very exciting. Then the fish started going out another hole so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet with our friends Magda and Jose 
They got like four fish, big fish. We're gonna go to a beach, clean them. We have a bag full of conch that we caught yesterday. So we have like five conchs in a bag. We're just gonna clean everything, make a fire at the beach and cook everything. We'll show you guys. We are on our way to the beach and we're going to be with Jose and we're going to clean all of the fish. That was your first catch, Jose? This was my first catch, yeah. Of the day. It's and it's a snapper, but I'm not sure which kind of A massive snapper. <laughs> massive. Sorry. Todo esto es difícil. enough no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's more than enough <laughs> three snappers a lobster and let me see the conch and five conchs one Ooh. two three four nice 